right, we are back straight up to what we have for you on trending hot topics. The first one is a ban on boy the cry skip solution in River State. Now, I've been seeing this story, but I know that if if it wasn't, if Banabai didn't talk about it, I mean, it won't gain this level of awareness. But what what is currently going on is there, there's so much school in yeah. Port Harcourt, and that's from the refineries, and, and everywhere is looking so black. And it's this is really a really bad, a really uh, dangerous health hazard to people. I was in Port Harcourt in December, and it was crazy. I stayed there for like a week. I could not, like in the morning, you know, when you wake up in the morning and then you clean your nose, <laughs> black things come out. My my legs, literally black. What? You know, when you're coming into Port Harcourt, they, they, they welcome you at the airport. Welcome to Port Harcourt. Enjoy the black suit. Yes. When they said black suit, I thought it was something else until they let me know that black suit is actually the pollution in the environment. In the environment. It's really bad. And there are kids. People are just falling sick in Port Harcourt. It's really, really bad. They should actually stop the spitting in Port Harcourt. It's not helping the health at all. It's really bad. Oh I felt, goodness. I almost fell sick in Port Harcourt. I almost fell sick. So even if Bernard did not raise it, people it have tough. been complaining. The government should look into this. Let you them know? stop the sweeping. It's not good. It's really, really it bad. It's is a health hazard and emergency. Now, what they say is the failure of the regulatory agencies to address the situation. Yeah. And um, this is what he said. Dark clouds over my city. What is the way forward? Stop the truth in Port Harcourt. This is what bright sunny days look like for my people now. Yeah. Of which the governor had apparently ordered the shutdown of the illegal crude oil refining site in the state. But I don't know why it's they're still, not. It's still going on. They've ordered the shutdown of these illegal refineries for, for, for since how many years? It's not a today okay, thing. Okay, so I think but that there's, there's no deliberate action. Mm, so what I think needs to happen in. is there needs to be a state of emergency. That's the only reason that because this I know of situations abroad where you have this kind of pollution, mm -hmm. it degenerates and it happens to some of the citizens and even the kids get affected yeah. and they have underlying yeah. conditions. I know of these stories abroad. So what they need to do right now is declare a state of emergency. They need mm. to stop it and actually sanction. It's just this scary. Is a problem. And it, what's even more scary is that the people are even getting used to it. They're like, oh, what do we do? We cannot run away because. And it's really, really bad. Kids are just falling sick daily. This is terrible. If I did not experience it, I'll, I'll just think it's just a particular That's place or a particular place. part of Port Harcourt, but it's everywhere. There's wow. no bright day. And when the sun comes out, it's like, <coughs> harsh. It's really bad. Well, I'm just hoping that, um, because this, at the end of the day, when this thing, when people start, when people start dying, we don't pray for people to die, but I when mean. now gets, if you have to get to that stage, then you now this is a global emergency. Yeah. And the truth is, we do not do anything in this country until when it gets to that degenerating stage where lives are lost. And even when lives are lost, we mm. just keep going on because we feel like it doesn't affect us. It's so really I'm glad Bonner Boy is speaking up, and I'm hoping that something will be done about it. This is. If it was Lagos, they would have done something about this. I'm not really? sure. It's a, I'm, because Lagos is. Uh, Port Harcourt is also an whether oil. Anywhere in the country, whether it's Port Harcourt, whether mm -hmm. it's um, Kapanchan, the lives of people should be the paramount thing of importance to our government. So That's if they see that this thing is actually affecting people, you can see it. It's the you can of, hear it. Mm -hmm. You can see people falling sick in Port Harcourt like every day. It's the lack Let of, something be done. You know, Money should not be everything. It's for me. It's the lack of in, of care, the lack of. But let's move on to our next trend let's story. It's. Um, I'm just hoping that by the time we talk about this again, something would have happened. The and only thing I can do is to pray for my people there. Every time I just say I pray, this thing doesn't affect your health in Jesus' name. We say Amen, but Amen doesn't do it. It doesn't do it. We need. We need we action. We need action. All right. So we're moving on to our next trend story. Kathy confirms divorce months after rumors surface. Mm -hmm. When I saw this story, I was started, I thought it was a joke. You know, I just thought maybe she was teasing or joking, but. Should be told when you hear of stories like this, people divorcing, it's not something you want to hear mm. because you kind of grow to love the personality, even if you don't know the workings behind the going ons in their marriage. Uh, for whatever reason, what she said was they grow apart, you know. And then the same field, he's a drummer to the P Square. He's a top drummer and she's into fitness and she's literally built his brand from ground up. So we don't know the details of what went down, but I mean, it's a lot for two of them. We cannot come out saying and she's this taking is it so casually. Casual. She's like she's learned um the the reasons why she failed. I like the fact that she's owning it that she's owning her failure. See, there's there's something that's not common with um 
issues of divorces these mm. days, especially mm -hmm. with our celebrities, they always like try to blame one person. Is that the man is saying it's the woman that caused the thing? But this one, she's owning it. She's saying, "I feel because of these reasons, and I'd like to share these reasons with you so that you will learn." Okay. And then she's saying it's like both parts, both parties. Mm -hmm. Although it's a sad thing, even with all the knowledge, I, 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 I <laughs> don't bring knowledge bro, that you can With have. all this knowledge, no knowledge. Of, oh, you, you did not. I did not do this. Show. I don't want to have a broken bone. <laughs> because it's, it's 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 better not to be married. <laughs> well, oh God. But life happens. But then, yeah, life happens. Life, life happens. Life happens I was remember the story of someone who actually had a divorce, and, and it's the person, scary. And the person she was married to was cheating with somebody else mm. and then it was a popular story you know the story it was a very popular story and then she knew that she really loved this guy but she had to because it was just messy it was so messy the lady got pregnant Scary. and she you like when she accosted him and said you impregnated her when the news broke and it was trending all over social media the guy just said the chef should order food to cook like he just said yes i mean how cold can you get the man just said yes, he did and it. There is, there is and she was crying and he said yes, I did it. But you know, naturally <laughs> men are cold. <laughs> I don't mean to see, I don't mean to but men are actually cold. Not all men. But then That's these not bash men. All men. No, but I mean you, <laughs> you serve breakfast recently. What is, of no, I, I will serve you breakfast. Ah, okay. <laughs> the thing is, there is something about marriage that our fathers and mothers who have been married for 30 years and above are not telling us because <laughs> we need to know this thing. I don't know why. There's so the rate at which marriages are crashing these days mm. is so scary. Mm. It makes people like us that are single scared of getting married. Okay. And it's sad. I think that I'm not going to compare because I don't know how the it's people, sad. our parents today, so I think what they did, because they would say it's more Momora, they just kept managing. Man that was the difference. But that's the truth. They managed. So even if the guy had indiscretions, they managed. If things, they'll say, ah, Mondo, because Mondo, of the kids. I cannot leave. Because they had no when They were not financially capable. They were not financially no, stable. No, there are some that are financially stable. But again, the stigma of living, the stigma of divorce, the stigma of doing everything on your own. They had nowhere. It's not even about the stigma, the emotional trauma. You, you can't leave a marriage and remain the same. Yeah. You can leave a relationship, be broken for like a while. Wow. Marriage. And then, but marriage. I mean, look at all the people that hey. cry when they when they have um, the relationship breakup and they're crying over social media. You see the person uh, doing like this and like. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not talk of marriage and divorce. That's a. And uh, memories and a lifetime and you, you know there's no manual to having a happy marriage there's yeah. no manual to keeping a marriage for a long time okay but anyway somebody can just wake up one morning and, and say, say i'm, I'm tired, tired. <laughs> ah! <laughs> anyways we have a relationship expert coming on the show and she's going to be talking that's just we you know we didn't even plan that i just thought okay this is a good trend this story yeah. so you know she's going to be talking about relationships and i know that's one point that people really want to want to know but at the end of the day people the sad thing is you never know enough yeah people with all the things that we hear husband material so that'll be interesting i mean there's no manual i say manual to say this how ah. you can keep a man <laughs> because it's the men that are the problem <laughs> ah, the women. No. why are you bashing men today the men are the problem. i speak from personal experience but you know, i've not that been married okay because men, <laughs> but like from the things that i have so many married friends so I'm men someone are, that has so friends from all that of older that. than me so today from all of that <laughs> men are always the problem <laughs> Okay, but so then I don't know. It's it's not easy, but I love. Mm. I'm I'm big on marriages. I'm big on families, mm. and I just hope that div this divorce rate just anyway, drops. Let's let's quickly move because got some. Yeah, it just <laughs> drops. It will. Let's move to our last journey story. A man accuses loan app of announces obituary after a default. When I saw this, <laughs> I just said to myself, a lot of this, some of these loan apps, oh when God. you borrow money from them. Okay, it means you borrow like 10,000 now. Mm. And you don't pay the 10,000 within the three weeks. They will start sending you messages. They will send to all your contacts. All your, thank you. As if you committed a to. crime, they will put your picture there. Thank as you. if no. Why? There's, I've even received many messages. They say, <laughs> they say, do you know this person, so so person, he is a thief. You should have nothing to do with him. He borrowed this amount of money. And I'm like, I'll call the person. Like, what, hope what everything's happening. Hope everything is all right. Do you know these people? I must say. It's really, really So, So in this case, scary. apparently what they did was they put up a picture saying he, you know, this guy died and all of that. And he was just really I saw it. And I'm like, <laughs> this is not fair. People will start narrating experiences of people with some loan apps that will say um, the person is sick. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> At the end with of one terminal illness. 
at the end of the day, our advice oh if you can, God. if you can, do not take money from a loan. If you can, no, hmm. because if you can't pay, if you default, hmm. they're gonna collect your money. They're I gonna collect your. I don't even like. I don't even want to hear anything like loan, except I don't know businessmen. You know, there's a, yeah, there's yeah. a level you get to in your business, and then you know, taking a loan. Yeah. is very important the rich people take but then and yeah you use money to make, make money. money but when you mm. know that mm. Mm. you know where we are <laughs> just cut your coat according to your cloth mm. don't take don't buy more than you can and chew. if it's a very serious situation have a plan on how you want to repay the money back yeah it's always good to plan as much as not I, I feel like if you want to even take a loan you should like be sure of getting the money back within like three months because if you know trap. you can't make that money back in three months, then don't take it. Loans are trapped. They just give you one, yes, one a half trap. a million, one million. Next minute, you're thinking, oh, yeah, I have the money in my you're account. You're paying back like two million. If you take one million, you're paying back like two million. Crazy interest. So if rate. you know you're not going to get that money back in three months, uh -huh. okay. But I mean, don't take it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> don't take it. Don't, <laughs> don't so take so it. To avoid embarrassment and stories that Don't take it because these things are true. There's so many things that you know you can't say. You know, you mm -hmm. hear different things, but except they're true, that's when you can actually say them that this is what they do. But then, you know, when you take loans from these companies, you, you try to make sure that they make their own money as well. True. That's how they make true. money. That's from, how they from make from money. You. So if you know you can't get back that money in three months, I don't think you should take it. True. That's, that's a word of it. advice. But yeah. uh, but anyways, um, that's that's done with trending. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shalom. Victory. It's always nice having you on the show. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure we're having, of course, amazing gigs this. Of weekend. course, every Saturday back mm -hmm. to back. You, nice. We started and our fun already, so make sure you join us 10 a.m. on Stoverbird TV, Rhythm FM, and on Facebook at Rhythm 93.7 FM Lagos. Nice. Thank you so much, Victory. Yeah. So <laughs> the next conversation is around the woman who will be talking to us about cervical cancer. And mm. of course, the information regarding it, women doing screening, her experience yeah. with cancer, is going to be very, very revealing, guys. So please very stick important. around. We'll be right back.